world of light and friendship. Happy balloons and singing ponies, where princesses fly in the sky and raise the sun and the moon. But what's truly lurking in the darkest corner? The shadows of the mind. How is madness truly spreading in this world? We will look at every nook and cranny, every dark secret the show has made, every twisted thought the fandom has created, either in artwork, music, or stories. We will take a look at the Rainbow Factory. We'll look at how cupcakes truly are made. We're going to even look at how nice Taylor could become a sadistic mistress. And it's all going to be done by me, yours truly, your humble and awesome host, Warlock Boo, and my humble assistant, Straight Jacket. Now sit back. You're not going anywhere soon, are you? Because the fun is just starting. Welcome to the Nightmares of Equestria. Hey there, bronies and ghouls. Who here likes cupcakes? Good, good. Who here likes My Little Pony? Great. Now who wants to know how Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony makes cupcakes? Well then, let me tell you the story. Cog cupcakes. Cupcakes, 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 cupcakes. What is there not to say about cupcakes? It is one of, if not the most influential and most known, My Little Pony creepypasta. Cupcakes is said to be, and I am entitled to believe this, the story that started the whole My Little Crone Pony creepypasta fad. Now, Cupcakes has three very popular parts. Cupcakes, second part which I kind of call Cupcakes Ongoing, and Rocket to Insanity. I'll be talking about these three in particular, but not Pinkamina, seeing as she's, well, her own freaky and disturbing thing, and she was not part of the original story. Now, the first story has Pinkie Pie drugging and kidnapping Rainbow Dash. We know this if you know anything about the history. And she slowly tortures her as she cuts her body apart and pieces out with the intent to cook them into cupcakes and share them with the town. It's a fat, bloody, and very twisted story with some dark reading material that can be hard to read. Uh, it's my own opinion. It's kind of freakishly awesome. It's well worth it, too. It is also revealed that uh, her fashion sense is a bit to be desired, as she has crafted a suit from her victims that has six wings and a mismatch of colors and a real fashion no-no. But, hey, fashion's in the taste of the beholder. Isn't that how it works? But they're all, the suit itself is made from the pony she makes cupcakes from, usually from cutting off their cutie marks and sewing it together into the suit. So, yeah, that's how it works. I mean, how else are you going to get clothes? Also, at the end, she decides to take what's left of Rainbow and make a basically a stuffed animal of Rainbow. And she's deciding she's going to do this with all her friends so they will last forever. Because reasons. Now, yeah, we get into the next part. Cupcakes Ongoing. It's a series of stories that reveals Apple Bloom of everyone is Pinky's apprentice and is learning the art of happily, I might add, of murder. She is much darker and brutal than Pinkie Pie and seems to enjoy the ki more killing more than Pinkie Pie. Apple Bloom has a dress made from diamond tiaras. So, more of the story, kids. Don't bully people. Or they'll skin you alive and cook you into cupcakes. So, yeah, good moral. <laughs> Stop crying back there. I still got one more story to tell you, so shush up, all of you. Now that we're all listening again, Rocket to Insanity is a kind of alternate ending where Rainbow Dash wakes up and finds out it was all a lovely, horrifying, disturbing dream. But things start to become weird, and she starts to become suspicious of Pinkie Pie when she invites her over to help her make cupcakes, just like in her dream. And at the end of the story, Rainbow kills Pinky, thinking Pinky was going to kill her. But it turns out 
Rainbow is the ninety one. Cause Pinkie Pie really just wanted her help to make cupcakes. Yep. If you have a bad dream, it's usually a bad dream. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, people read way much into that. Now, these three are considered the core of the cupcakes mythos. Now you may ask, what about Pinkamina Pie? Well, she is not in the original cupcakes. It was actually just Pinky. Uh, people kind of changed that later on. I don't know why. But the cupcake story did help create the base lore for Pinkamina. But I'm going to have to wait to talk about Pinkamina because I'm also going to have to talk about Little Miss Rarity and this would get too long and confusing. And I don't think it's good subject matter for you little ghouls, do you? So, now, the question, why murder ponies and why make them into cupcakes? Well, every pony has a different taste. That's why some odd number system works too and it, it kind of confuses me. It's odd, okay? No one ever said Pinky was the sanest pony out there. Now, how did this affect the fandom? Well, hugely. You can see all the artwork on during this video. There's tons of it. I had to censor a lot of stuff out from my search. I actually had to search with safety on. I mean, look, look, look what I found. Uh, and I, yeah, I had to avoid a lot of stuff. It was twisted. And it would have been odd if the cops had to look through my computer again and saw some of that. And yeah, I'm not getting into that. This has also inspired hundreds, if not thousands of stories, including Pinkamina, as I mentioned before. On top of that, there are animations, comics, even MLP music videos about that. Although, strangely, there's no songs about that. I, I looked all over and I couldn't find any. And I figured if any would have inspired anything, it would have been this. But nope. So, I guess there's no music for it. If, if I'm wrong, tell me. I I'd like to hear some songs about it. I thought it'd be a neat, interesting thing. Now, the big question you all ask. Well, could this happen? And the answer is no. Why? Well, because of Gilda, strangely enough. In the story, Pinky murdered her after the first episode she appeared in when she was leaving Ponyville. Pinky actually tricked her and murdered her and made her into a cupcake because she wanted to see what Griffin tasted like. But in later episodes, we see Gilda's alive. She's fine. She's happy. She lives in the Griffin City. And on top of this, uh, Pinky wouldn't do this. She's too much of an attention hog. And she can't keep a secret, as we learned in, uh, what was the episode called? Uh, Pinky Knows. I think that's what it was called. Don't burn me alive for not knowing, okay? And she'd bl we all know she'd blab everyone. But I do have to say, the party cave sounds a lot like her murder cave in the story. Which got me wondering, did, did the creators actually come up with the party cave from the murder cave in the story? Because they're actually very similar. In a similar spot, even. But hey, that's just a theory. Now, kids, did we enjoy learning about cupcakes? <laughs> What's wrong? You know, I went out of my way to show you guys this story. And what are you doing? Crying. Because of reasons? What, what could be wrong? Oh, I'm back. I picked up your... Boo, sweetie, why are there strange children at home? Oh, them? They're helping me with my show. Did you kidnap some kids again? No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, good. For a moment there, I thought. I borrowed them without permission. Duh! You what? We have to get them back right now before their parents call the police and... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I gave them plenty of horse tranquilizers. They'll be out for the next week. Okay, come on, kids. Let's go get you home. Come on, come on. You know how Mother was right. I should have married the donkey. At least he was an accountant. Well, Brony and Ghouls, that ends our talk about cupcakes. Hope to see you all next time. And why do I hear sirens? Oh, well, whatever. Be spooking y'all later. Bye.